Hey guys, this is Jada the Stylist, and I want to say thank you for watching my video on how to do a frontal shortcut. Now, this is a highly requested video, and I'm so happy to get it to you guys. So, let's get into the video. My client, she suffers from alopecia, as you can see, it's around her hairline, and right now, what I'm doing is using 30 second bunny glue to put small dots around the perimeter of her head minus the edges so basically you're going to do about three inches from the hairline because that is where the frontal is going to stop in the back i want to say about four inches instead of three You're gonna do it behind the ear all the way to the other side of the ear now what I'm using right now is protective black strips to protect your client hair from the bonding glue that we're going to be using and you're gonna protect her head with the paper strips you can find this paper at your local hair store or Sally's Beauty Supply. What I'm doing here is that I am putting glue on the paper so that I can put the next strip on the paper to kind of secure the rest of her hair, if that makes sense. We are going to put a stocking cap over your client's head for extra protection. And what I'm using is a tan cap. And this cap kinds to help me manipulate the color for the client if she's a different tone. Put makeup on the cap itself to match your client's skin tone. What I'm doing right now is cutting holes into the cap so her ears can come out. The next step is I'm taking my 30 seconds bonding glue and what I'm doing is tracing her hairline in the back. Now we're not going to do the front because that once again is where the front is going to go. And the reason I'm doing this is for a more secure of the style so it does not lift up. We're going to take our pump it up spritz and we're going to saturate the cap in the back. We're going to use our got to be glue spray and we're going to put the got to be glue around the perimeter of the front of her hairline just as you would do with a regular lace install and what I like to do is use my waterproof lace glue you could get this glue on the website jadedestylist.com um, what I'm gonna do is put the waterproof lace glue around the ear flaps on top of the cap so once I put her under the dryer and take her from up under the dryer, the ear flaps do not move once I cut the access cap. And we're just going to give a little bit of blow drying to tack it down uh, just a little bit before we put her under the dryer. Now, I pre-dyed my knots off camera, but I'm just showing you guys just as it dies. And I'm taking my glue and I'm putting my waterproof glue so I'm dying on my knots cap. at this moment not on her skin and this is the aftermath of me dyeing my knots how it looks I'm using it a looks a little layer. bit more transparent to put she on the it cap your and not scalp. my client's edges itself now if you're following me on social media you can see that I've been doing this style for a minute now and I've been using HD frontals now keep in mind you do not need an HD frontal to complete 
this shortcut you can use any type of frontal you can use a regular frontal just in case you do not know how to customize your HD frontal as good as other styluses you can always use makeup for a regular frontal you could dye it you know you could customize it lace tint but right now what I'm using is use makeup to match my client's skin tone and now I'm gonna place in the frontal on top of my client's head. Once I get the desired glue that I need, I will then wait about a few seconds till the glue get tacky. And I will position my frontal onto my client's head. And I'm going to back comb the hair with the lace, pressing down. The hair itself underneath the lace is not wet. I blow dried the hair underneath the lace so it is completely dry underneath. I would recommend, you know, the beginners to completely dry the lace itself. And I'm just doing a part check. I take my needle and thread and what I'm doing is sewing the back of the lace to the cap. You can do your adjustments after you sew the back of the cap. And whatever area needs extra glue, you can apply the extra glue. And then you're going to cut the excess lace that you do not need. And this is the actual camera footage what I was doing as I was recording myself doing my client's hair. And this is just a regular lace. So now we're going to take our 30 seconds bonding glue and a pack of 28 piece Janet collection 1B like a natural brown. Uh, to get close to the frontal color and this is how I lay my tracks at the beginning of the video I was using paper to protect my clients hair and this is the reason why I place glue directly onto my clients head 
And this is how I get my tracks extremely close when I'm doing my shortcuts. And I do not use one track. I use two tracks at a time. The reason why I use two tracks at a time so that my tracks can be extremely close. Now, if you're dealing with 28 piece Janet collection, you know that the tracks are like really, really, really thin. So to double or triple your, your tracks is better for you and your work will come out a whole lot neater. Now, once you get to the top of your client's head, you're going to go back and forth with your tracks. And the blade that I like to use when using my shortcuts is the Tinkle blade. You can get this from your local hair store. This is exactly how I cut my shortcuts and also my frontal. I like to use the longer teeth side on the shortcut and then around the, the bottom of the shortcut, I like to somewhat use the shorter side and switch up. But as you get comfortable with your tinkle blade, if you don't already know how to use your tinkle blade, you will know exactly how to use the blade when cutting a shortcut or any style.
Now that the shortcut is cut all the way down around the sides and the back, what I like to use is Nairobi foam and put Nairobi foam on the side that I'm going to wave up. Now, a lot of people ask, how do I use the, the foam on the side and the lace do not come up? The trick is using waterproof lace glue. So once I have a desired look on the side of the waves, I would like to use that same black strip that I use to protect my client's hair from the glue. I use it to hold her hair down and I place her under the dryer. I can't stay approximately 15 to 20 minutes, but up until the Nairobi or whatever foam you use dries. Once my client is dry, I like to blow dry the front part only because I like the knots to be a little bit more relaxed. I use either the blow dryer or a hot comb. So now, right now, I'm just putting layers in my client's hair with my razor blade. And this is when you style your client to your liking. You can use a flat iron, curling iron, and this I use a flat iron and a curling iron to get the desired look that I want for my client.
And this is the finished look. Shortcut frontally. Thank you guys for watching.